Hi, welcome to Knit with Hannah. We're talking today about quick Christmas gifts to knit in the weekend. There isn't much time left, you better get on with it. Hi, welcome to Knit with Hannah. I'm Hannah. I'm here with Knitting Natter to help you learn to knit the easy way. Let's talk quick Christmas gift to knit, shall we? We can do this on a budget as well. Doesn't have to be expensive to go and knit something for a friend or member of the family. So let's get that sorted today. If you're new here, welcome. If you're not new here, welcome back. Go and subscribe. You know you want to. I'll be back here with all sorts of knitting tutorials every week. Yes, I'm here every Tuesday with a new tips and tricks, explaining about yarn, um, giving you demos, all sorts of things about yarn. I even did yoga for knitters last summer. So you have a whole range of knitting videos and I can help you keep on knitting. Okay, let's talk about quick knits to knit in a weekend for Christmas gifts. Maybe you also want to do it on a budget. That's the ideal thing. If you want to knit something quickly, the likelihood is you won't use that much yarn. So knitting something quickly can actually also reduce the budget if you're buying other things to go with it. For example, the first thing I will tell you about is knitting a bookmark. And if you want to knit a bookmark, it's like knitting a miniature scarf. So you can actually find a scarf pattern and only knit maybe four or five repeats of the pattern or only knit it for six inches. It can be that simple. But also, it's obviously not a scarf size, but you can knit it so that it's in four ply or DK yarn instead of chunky or super chunky. It can be that simple. I've also got bookmark patterns in my yarn shop, in my pattern shop, if you want to go and look at them. So bookmarks can mean that you don't have to buy three books. You only need to buy one because you've got this amazing bookmark to go with it. So spend an hour or so knitting a bookmark and you're winning. You're saving money by not buying lots of other things instead. Okay, so that's the first tip. So the second thing I'm going to suggest you knit in a weekend, and actually it will take you less time than that, it will save you money as well, is a mug cosy. Now, you may think, what's the point of a mug cosy? It doesn't do anything but look pretty. Well, yeah, I mean, that is half the point. It looks pretty. It just kind of cozies up your mug but it also keeps the tea warm keeps your hands from getting too hot and that's especially useful if you use a reusable mug you go to the coffee shop in the morning and ask them to refill that rather than give you a new takeaway cup or you fill it up yourself when you walk down the road in the morning you've got a cup of tea to keep you warm or you keep a, put a mug cozy on it and it's easier to hold put a mug cozy on it and it keeps it warm for longer too so there are bonuses to mug cosies. And my point is that you could give them a single mug and a mug cosy instead of thinking, oh, I need to get them a box of tea bags as well or all sorts of other things. And a mug cosy takes up so little yarn. It will take you half a ball at the most. So go and find a pattern. Yes, they're in my pattern shop as well. So you could use one of those or go and find a pattern from somewhere else. Maybe you've got one already. Just create a mug cosy to go around a mug that you've bought or one that you were given last year and you've never used <laughs> so you're creating a gift on a budget and you're making it look really special really thought out okay so that's the second one what about number three well number three is something that I have mentioned before I'm going to say yet again go and knit some washcloths some face cloths or dishcloths doesn't take you long to knit. This is going to take you maybe 50, 75 grams of yarn, which means that you've got two balls. You may even be able to knit three. So utilize what you've got at home. You've got a bit of cotton yarn sitting around. Knit that up in an evening while you're watching Doctor Who or Strictly Final. And you've got a fresh bar of soap in the cupboard, maybe. Put that together with that. You've got face cloths and your bar of soap already. Okay, so the fourth option is to knit a hat. If you find a hat pattern that only takes one ball of yarn, you're winning. And especially if you find a hat pattern that takes one ball of yarn and it's super chunky, it may cost a little bit more. It's going to probably, definitely be over a fiver. 
to, to buy 100 grams of super chunky yarn. But it will knit up so quickly and you'll be really thrilled. It'll take you one evening maybe, maybe an afternoon while you're watching a film, Christmas weekend, you know, the children are sitting down playing a game with um, Toy Story Christmas on the television and you are going to finish that hat before you know it. It can be really quick, so just get on with it. Maybe you've even got a single ball of super chunky yarn left over in your yarn stash. You think, I'm never going to use that. Well, you can use it. You can knit a hat. Lots of my hats um, are chunky yarns or are for Aran yarns. And they knit up for me in two to three hours. So if you're that willing to sit down and knit for a little bit longer over a weekend, then go and find a chunky hat pattern instead. A lot of people wear hats. Obviously, don't give a hat to somebody who says, I never wear hats, what are you doing? Just give them uh, give them out to people who love wearing hats. And that's a perfect option for a quick knit to knit in a weekend. Okay, that's it. That's four things you can knit. You don't need any more. You've got to fit them all in. So get your yarn stash out, get your needles out, start sorting patterns and knit, 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 knit. You can get them done this weekend. You haven't got many days left before Christmas, but you can do it. Okay, I would say I'll see you next week, but there's not a lot of time to get a video in next week. We're all celebrating Christmas. A lot of us are celebrating Christmas. I am celebrating Christmas with friends and family, and I hope you have a great week too. I will see you in the new year, but now I will wish you happy Christmas. Um, I will see you in the Facebook group. If you're not there, then go and join me. I will be checking in on you to see how you're knitting. <laughs> um, just go and click on the facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash knit with Hannah. It's not difficult. It's easy to find. And you can, yeah, join. We'll be cheering each other on this weekend for more Christmas knitting. Right. Bye for now. Merry Christmas. Happy knitting. Let's talk about knitting for Christmas, shall we? We want to make sure if we're knitting for other people, if we're knitting gifts, that they're loved and cherished for years to come. I've got a new weekend workshop for you. This isn't gonna teach you how to knit. This is gonna teach you how to put the foundations in place before you start knitting. Because planning what you knit, making sure you get the colors, the sizes, the actual item that you're knitting right, means that people will love and use them wear them for years and years to come. I've got four videos for you. We're talking about colour, size, novelty, and then I've got a video full of extra tips just to make it perfect. And then I've got a bonus video all about colour duets, knitting in pairs. And this isn't about getting advanced with fair isle or intarsia techniques. This is about using pairs of colours in the basics, the foundations of knitting. I do hope I'll see you on the inside. Follow the link below, you can get even more information if you follow that link. I will see you again soon, bye for now, happy knitting.